guys okay so today's video is going to be my June favorites and I know I am super super late on putting up my June favorites and I apologize because we're already um, in July so I apologize that my June favorites is up super super late but better late than never right um, this month has just been so crazy for me it's been really hectic stressful and I've been busy I went on too many vacations and I've just been spending time with my family um, I'll give you guys a little update right now before I get into my June favorites so let's start with the update um, so in the beginning of June I went to Tucson Arizona um, I drove down there with my boyfriend and his dad and we went on like a two to three day mini vacation and it was so much fun it was just nice to spend time with his family get to know them a little bit better we went down there during Father's Day weekend and then we came back that following Monday and it was so much fun the weather um, was so hot I live in California the Bay Area to be exact and I like to explain the weather is like bipolar because like one day it's like really nice and it's warm the next day it's raining and cold I don't know the weather just changes up on you it's bipolar that's how I like to say it and I would definitely I'm not used to like the 100 degree weather that Arizona brings but it was nice just because we were mostly like outside or inside and then if we were outside we were like in the pool and stuff but it was so hot and especially when you're like moving things just not good um, but I had a really good time and then when I got back it was my mom's birthday so I spent some time with her and then I was spending time with her because um, she was going to Oregon for a whole week um, to visit her friend and then to look at places out there. And then while she was gone, I went on another mini vacation with my boyfriend and I. We went camping, our first time camping together, which was so much fun. I took him to a place called Pinecrest, where I've been going since I was like a little baby. Just show him around. Um, we went like paddle boating, we went fishing. If you guys want to see what we did on our first camping trip together, I will post the link to that video down below in the description box. I vlogged a little bit of it, and then I also included pictures of that. So definitely check out the video for those of you guys who are interested. Um, and yeah. Yeah, and that's pretty much what's been going on with me for the month of June and I've just been working um, not so much because I've been taking time off um, you know from mom's birthday and the vacations and stuff but I have been working um, and then also I may be moving so it's been just kind of stressful like hectic and stuff and I've just been kind of wanting to spend time with my boyfriend and stuff um, but yeah I may be moving out of California and I lived in the exact same house my whole entire life so it's kind of a little bit weird and yeah I lived in California my whole entire life um I don't know if I'm gonna be moving for sure I know my mom is going to move to be moving for sure I can stay out here with my dad um but I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do yet I'm just thinking you know long and hard about um what I want to do if I want to move to Oregon or if I want to stay here and live with my dad um but yeah I'm not so sure um I mean I know I did mention like my I mean I've always wanted to like just move out of California just because I'm kind of tired of it um but I don't know if I really want to move yet just because my boyfriend's here and just my life right now is just going really good but yeah that's a little update so if I don't post so much videos that's probably why just because I need to like clean things out even if I don't move to Oregon I still have to you know move to my dad's house and all of that stuff uh, maybe I'll film like a separate video on that but I don't want to get all into it. You guys can definitely follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all of that stuff if you guys want to know more. Uh, the links are always down below in the description box. But yeah, let me just get right into my June favorites. So I have some, of course, makeup products and then some hair care and skin care. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off with um, face products first. So um, the first one is this Garnier BB Cream. And I've been absolutely loving this BB cream. I bought this last summer and I loved it. I want to try the one for oily and combo skin because I've heard that that one, that, that one is absolutely amazing. But I want to try this one up first um, just because I'm trying to save my money and just use up all of my foundation and BB creams that I have. Um, but this one I really like. It's for It's light to medium. It has SPF 15 and I really like this a lot. Um, it feels really nice on your skin. It gives you light to medium coverage. You can build it up if you like and it's a really nice BB cream. I really like this. It's one of my favorites and I've been using this. I used it when I was in Arizona and when I went camping. I didn't really wear 
makeup camping. I just wanted to wear this just to, since I have natural redness in my skin, just to even, even ugh, can't talk. Since I have natural redness in my skin, um, I wanted to just even everything out and I just wore this and it has SPF so that was great and I really like this a lot. It feels super lightweight and it's a really good BB cream so I've been loving that and every day like when I work, I work at 6am and I don't really want to wear like makeup, like foundation and stuff so I'll just wear this and I'm good to go. It just gives you a really nice natural look to your skin so I've been loving that. I'm in for foundation if I want a little bit more full coverage, like if I'm going out to like the fair or a baseball game or a date night or whatever, I will be using this. This is the CoverGirl Clean Whipped Cream Foundation and I filmed a first impression video on this and I featured this in probably, I think a couple of my Get Ready With Me videos and I really like this a lot. It's in the shade Classic Ivory, I believe, yes. And I think it's like $6 to $7. Um, I think I've only had this for like a month or so, maybe a little bit longer and I already have hit pan on it. I only have like a little bit left, but it's not one fluid ounce like um, all the other foundations from the drugstore. It's 0 0.6 fluid ounces. Kind of bummed because I'm almost out of it. I just love the way it makes my skin look. It gives you amazing coverage, full coverage to be exact. It hides everything, and I just love the way it feels, and I was super impressed with this. Kind of sad that it's almost gone, but I can just go and get another one um, soon, but I absolutely have been loving that. Then I've been liking the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. Um, this I will um, use on my face like before I do anything with makeup and then I'll put it on before I do, uh, before I apply powder and then when I'm all done with my face just to make sure everything is set and locked through the whole entire day and I really like this a lot. It's one of my favorite setting sprays so liked that. Um, next I have two concealers I've been loving and they are these two. The first one is the Maybelline Insta Age Rewind Eraser for Dark Circles. I featured the, I think the skin tone one which was in fair in like my, my past couple of monthly favorite videos. This one is the brightener. I wanted to try this one out because I ran out of the fair one and I want you to try this out and I've been loving it I just love it because it's kind of like a peachy color it's not a skin tone and it just really brightens up your under eye area and I've been loving this I love this concealer I talked about it in my top 8 drugstore concealer so definitely check that out but this is absolutely amazing it's so creamy super pigmented it's hands down one of my favorite concealers ever um, another one I also talked about in my top 8 favorite drugstore concealer. This is the Sonia Kashuk um, All Covered Up Concealer. It comes in this little pot. And it's in the shade Porcelain. And just looks like this. I use this mainly for my redness or my blemishes. And it's super pigmented. It's like $10. A little bit expensive for a drugstore concealer in my opinion. But it works really, really good. A little bit does go a long way with this particular concealer. But I've been loving it. Then for powder, um, I've been loving the Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. This is one of my favorite drugstore powders. I've hit pan on it, and it just keeps my face looking matte through the whole entire day. just keeps everything locked in place, and I like it a lot. I've been saying I love and I like it a lot. Of course I love it, Ashley. Um, it's my monthly favorite videos. And then for bronzer, I've been getting back into this, and you guys probably know what this is. This is the NYC um, Bronzer in Sunny. A lot of people rave about this here on YouTube and I absolutely love it. It is the perfect bronzer ever. It's a really nice matte bronzer and it doesn't, it's not like orangey or anything. It's like the perfect skin, like the perfect shade pretty much for any skin tone. I'm very pale and it looks good on all skin tones. Um, if you're just getting started to makeup, highly recommend you guys to try this out. It's like two or three bucks. It's really inexpensive and it's a really good powder. Um, blushes, I've been loving the Milani Baked Blushes, and I like to pair these up together. So first, I will use the Milani Luminosa Blush, which is, like, a really nice, like, curly peachy color. It has a nice satin finish to it. And then I will apply just a little bit of the, um, uh, Berry Amore on top of it. And it's just, like, a nice berry color. And they both have a little bit of shimmer in it, but I love these paired together. And they're just great by itself as well, but I love these blushes. And the last face product, um, is, ooh, it's, like, broken. So it's the, um, Hard Candy Bronzer in Tiki. And I use this mainly as a highlight, um, I was looking for like my highlights one day and I wanted to try something different and I was like, hey, I know I have the hard candy tiki, uh, the tiki highlight, like where is it? And I go into my sister's room and it's right there. I don't know how long she's had it, probably for a while because I totally forgot I had it and I was like, that's mine, isn't it? She's like, yeah. 
thanks for like bringing it back Alicia but anyways I have it now and I really like this it's just a really nice like champagne um, highlight it's gorgeous of I don't use it as a bronzer just because it has shimmer and it's super light so I just use it as a highlight and it works amazing for that it's gorgeous now moving on to eye products. I only have three, which is one eyeliner and then two mascaras. Um, I don't really, I haven't really been wearing like eyeshadow, like new eyeshadows lately. Um, I've been just using the Urban Decay Naked Basics or the Urban Decay Naked 1 and 2 or the Lorac Pro Palette. And I've mentioned them in a lot of my favorite videos. Um, or I just haven't been wearing eyeshadow lately because um, like when I was in Arizona, I barely wore eyeshadow. Um, I just wore like face makeup. I pro Pretty much I've just been wearing, you know, foundation, bronzer, blush, and highlight, and I've been good to go. And I work at 6 a.m., and there's no way I'm going to be doing my whole face at 6 a.m. I, like, can barely even stay up. So I just do, found like, a BB cream, and then I just put powder, and I don't even do blush or bronzer. So, and then when I get home, I'm either going to film videos, and I just wear whatever, you know, for the video, or if I do tutorials, what you guys have seen. Um, but yeah, I've barely been really wearing eyeshadow. Um, yeah, just haven't been really wearing eyeshadow that much lately. Just been keeping it simple with just bronzer, blush, and highlight. So, but when I do, I've been really liking the NYX Glam Liner Aqua Luxe and Waterproof. You guys have seen me um, use this in some of my videos. And this is in Glam Lagoon. It's just a nice, like, green color. I've been loving these. I have it in black, a, like a olive green color, a purple, a, like a turquoise, and I love them. They're absolutely amazing and they're just great for the summertime just to wear by itself or just with a neutral eye just add a pop of color. And then mascara, I've been loving these two. This is the Tarte Gifted Amazonian Clay Mascara and this is the CoverGirl Flamed Out Mascara and I like these both a lot. Um, they're absolutely amazing. And then moving on to lip lips lip product i guess um so kind of like lip balms i've been liking these two a lot this is the nivea lip butter and raspberry rose kiss and this makes your lips feel absolutely amazing super soft moisturized and i love the little light pink shimmer it gives to your lips and these are so so good i think they're like two to three bucks and then i've been liking the maybelline baby lips in pink wink which is kind of similar to the Nivea one. It's just like a light baby pink color. And if I don't really want to wear like lip gloss or lipstick, I'll just turn to this. It just gives you a really nice light light pink sheer color to your lip. And they're super moisturizing and I really like these a lot. And then my lipstick that I wear like for videos um, is the uh, NYX Power lipstick. I've been wearing this one a lot. It's just like a nice purple color. I love NYX lipsticks because they're super creamy. They have a great color like selection to choose from and they're really really pigmented and they're absolutely amazing. This one I've been loving lately and I've been wearing it quite a bit in my videos. And then I'm liking these two. I like to wear these either on top of a lipstick or um, just by itself. They're great as well. These are the NYX Butter Glosses. Um, this one is in Creme Brulee and then this one is in Eclair. And these are absolutely amazing. I want to go out and get more because they are that good. Um, then with hair products, I just have one. I've been liking this Garnier Fructi Sleek and Shine Anti-Humidity Hairspray. And I've just been loving this just because it doesn't make my hair feel like too hard. It's the more of like a soft hairspray if that makes any sense. Just to like hold my flyaways or my baby hair because I have baby hair and I'm 22 years old. I wish I didn't. I absolutely hate it. But I like it. It does hold my um, curls in really nicely and I really like Garnier um, Fructis hair, uh, hairspray. It's really good. Then for skincare, I'm not going to talk so much about because I'm thinking of filming a morning routine and also a skincare routine video soon. But um, to remove my makeup, I've been using the Maybelline The Flash Clean Clean Express Makeup Removing Lotion. This stuff is the bomb.com. I absolutely love it. I don't use makeup removing wipes anymore. I use this stuff. And when you're done, like, taking it off, like, rinsing it, it makes your skin feel so soft, which I love because it's kind of like a lotion. So it makes your skin feel really soft and smooth, and it removes every bit of makeup, even waterproof eyeliner or mascara. I really like this a lot. I've been through two. I'm almost out of this one, and I need to go out and get another one. I love it. Then, for nighttime, I've been using this Pond's um, Dark Spot Correcting Cream. I use it in the night or the morning, and it smells really, really good. And I just use it for, like, my dark spots or any, um, you know, discoloration or whatever. And I like this a lot. I love Pond's products because it makes your skin feel really soft and moisturized. And just really works, especially if you have dry skin. 
Then the last two products are these two. They are the, ooh, it's open. The Olay Fresh Effects. This is the Shine Shine Go Away Cleanser. And this is the Bead Me Up Exfoliating Cleanser. And I love these. I love the Olay Fresh Effects line. <coughs> <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> Sorry guys, I had like a cough attack there. And these are really, really nice. They make your face feel like squeaky clean. And it just kind of refreshes your skin. And I like these a lot. And then with the cleanser... I used this little thing. It came with like the sample one of the uh, cleanser and then it came with this. And I've been using this a lot. I really like this. You guys will see how I use it in my morning routine and skincare routine probably. But yeah, that is pretty much my favorites. And also, I've been really liking, um, I've been wearing like this bracelet a lot. It's just a pink bracelet and just says Robbie, which is my boyfriend's name. And then he has a matching one, which says Ashley. And then I've been wearing this ring which just says A Heart R, and I got this at a fair, and then just my infinity ring that um, me and my sister have matching of. So yeah, that is pretty much my June favorites. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Definitely follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Vine, Keek, all that good stuff. Other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.